Live from Fox 12, Oregon, this is Breaking News. Uh, I woke up to uh, smoke and sirens. Just went outside to see what was going on and all hell broke loose. And then as I got downstairs, fire started coming out of the third floor and then I went up to the fourth floor. Then after a little while, you can see smoke coming, fire coming out of the ceiling or off the roof of the building. And now there's like 10 foot flames coming up. Chaos and fear as people rush to evacuate a burning apartment building in downtown Portland today. That whole area came to a standstill as firefighters battled a four alarm fire. Crews remain on the scene hours after that fire started. We've been covering this breaking news story all afternoon. Tonight we have team coverage of the fire and the aftermath. We start with Fox 12's Adrian Thomas, who was our first reporter on scene. Adrian. Well, Pete, Nora, at about 10 a.m. this morning, Portland firefighters tell us the fire erupted at this apartment building at Southwest 14th Avenue and Southwest Taylor. And the intensity of the flames and smoke was so great, it caused authorities to shut down I-405 north and southbound at the I-5 interchange. Now, a spokesperson for Portland Fire confirmed two firefighters were injured but are expected to be okay, and all residents have been accounted for. One person who narrowly escaped the flames tells us He's at a loss for words after his new apartment is nothing but charred remains. It was a stunning sight just blocks from Providence Park in southwest Portland. Dozens of firefighters racing to the scene to try and get the fire under control. Damian Warren says he just moved to the fourth floor of 1410 Southwest Taylor last month. He recently relocated to Portland from San Francisco, and it's a welcome to his new city he never expected. Everything I own is all gone, so... I finally just uh, decided to get a new place all to myself, and now it's all in flames. It makes sense on why it would go up in flames. It was all old wood. It was a bunch of, like, you know, a little rickety of a spot. Damien tells us his day began with flames creeping into his apartment. Woke up this morning to smoke, just filling my room and filling my everything up, and I thought I left the oven on or something with my friends, so we scatter out of there, and there was just smoke coming up from all the all the other sides firefighters helped get residents out of the building at first but had to pull back shortly after because of how intense the flames were a portland fire spokesperson says the building is over 100 years old has 60 apartments and wasn't equipped with modern fire equipment like sprinklers and the cause is still unclear this fire will be under investigation i can say that there was an identified room on the third floor as the fire fire room upon arrival of the first crews. That's what I know. The American Red Cross says it's working to arrange shelter for the victims. Damian Warren tells us the building owners have committed to helping all tenants who have been forced out. They can't displace the tenants, hopefully. If, uh, if everything works out, then uh, they'll probably re like put us into a new apartment building. And back out here live, Portland fire officials also say two neighboring buildings are okay, like the one you see here, but the larger apartment building that went up in flames still needs to undergo an investigation from the city along with the building's owner to try and determine if it will be salvage salvageable for tenants uh, to eventually move back in. So we still don't know if the building um, is a total loss or not. Fire crews are still on scene right now, putting out any remaining hot spots and keeping an eye on the building and for all the tenants here, they're now without a home tonight. Live in Southwest Portland, Adrian Thomas, Fox 12, Oregon. Well, the giant plume of black smoke that came from the fire was hard to miss for anyone in the downtown area. Yeah, it made for quite the scene. And unfortunately, as Adrian mentioned, it forced a lot of people from their homes. Fox 12's Drew Marine spoke with witnesses and a man who lives in one of those buildings who had to evacuate. Drew? We saw several people watching their homes burn from behind police tape today. And hours later, crews are still here monitoring things. Thankfully, Portland Fire and Rescue says they're confident everyone made it out of the May apartment safely. From the east side and saw the smoke billowing. Giant plumes of smoke could be seen from around Portland Tuesday as an apartment building went up in flames at Southwest Taylor and 14th. There was just like flames everywhere and, and it looks like it gets controlled and then it just goes right back up into flames. Firefighters tackled the four alarm fire from the ground and the sky as people who evacuated the building watched from behind the police tape as their homes burned. I woke up and I, like I said, heard or smelled smoke and looked out the window. There was a fire truck out back and just went outside to see what was going on and 
all hell broke loose. Jim Rush lives in the apartment building right next door and had to leave in case the fire spread. I guess now the main their main objective is to save our building to make sure the fire doesn't jump. Portland Fire and Rescue say they're confident they got everyone out of the burning building safely and Red Cross has been connecting with those people who were forced from their homes. But it wasn't just first responders who offered help. Neighbors from around the area came out to offer what they could. I want to know sure if they need help. So I brought ice and electrolytes and masks and um, just kind of sat with them and talked to them to see what I could do because that's just my nature. Trimet has had a bus parked at Southwest 14th Avenue and Taylor Street. In case residents need a place to stay cool and grab a bite to eat, they've been here all day. And we've learned Red Cross is trying to find long-term shelter for people to stay at until they get back on their feet. Live in Southwest Portland, Drew Marine, Fox 12 Oregon.